to school time is so wonderful when you're a teacher's pay teacher seller. Now, when you're teaching full time and doing teacher's pay teachers, it's a little like bittersweet because it's like summer's over, but also you're finally gonna make money, especially after you make like absolutely nothing in June and July. So if you are hopefully reaping the benefits of back to school time, then you might be wondering how you can keep up that momentum for the rest of the year. Now, unfortunately, the rest of the year is not gonna be exactly the same as back to school time, but there are a couple of things you can do in order to keep your sales rolling in and keep things rolling all throughout. So if that sounds like something that you would like to do to keep that back to school time happening all year long, then let's get started. All right, so first of all, you need to think about why back to school is what it is. During back to school, there's a lot of people searching on Teachers Pay Teachers because there's a lot of people who are looking for products. There's a lot of people looking for classroom decor and activities and all the different things. So there's a lot of people looking. There's also kind of like more defined things that people are purchasing. So a lot of times what you're selling is going to be a lot of back to school things. And number three is that you sell a lot of bundles at this time of year. Or at least I find that because a lot of people are more willing to invest in you know the whole year round than they are if it's like May and they only have like a week left they're a lot less likely to want to purchase like a big huge bundle because they can only use it for a week versus the whole year so those are three things that kind of make back to school time stand out from the rest of the year and now let's talk about how we can kind of manipulate those to continue for the rest of the year now again it's not going to be exactly the same so you may not get like the same amount of sales but these are things that you can do to keep that momentum rolling in the same way that back to school happens let's do those in backwards order okay so let's talk about bundles during back to school time people are more likely to purchase bundles because again they have the whole year that they can use said bundles so if you're looking at how you can keep that kind of momentum up all year then the first thing is to make sure that you have bundles so that people are able to purchase them the second thing would be to make sure that you have bundles that are relevant for different times of the year and maybe some that are all throughout the year. So what I mean by that is relevant throughout different times of the year could be things like seasonal, so like test prep bundle, holiday bundle, those kind of things. Or you can look at it as like, here's a bundle that's good for the whole year. So that might be like an activity that you have and you have like writing prompts for fall, writing prompts for winter, writing prompts for spring, writing prompts for summer. That's an example of a bundle that works for the whole year round. However you want to do your bundles, make sure that you have bundles, first of all, and also that you have bundles that are relevant to the different seasons. So again, you might have something that's good for the whole year. You might also have seasonal bundles. But what I want you to look at is if you have any holes in your product selections and in your bundles. So is it like you have all these products and then you get to March and there's nothing that is useful for March? That was me. Um, I didn't have anything that was really relevant for springtime. Um, and so this year, that was something I really focused on was making sure that I had springtime resources, things that were good for springtime, things that were good for testing, things that were good for end of the year, that kind of stuff, because that's what people are looking for in the spring. And I was able to make bundles that were spring bundles for end of the year, like bundles for all of those kind of things in order to make sure that people have those available. And that really helped to boost my sales in the spring. And so, for example, the year before, my sales kind of went like, and this year they kind of stayed like more steady until we hit summer and summer is summer so we're just pretending it doesn't happen so when you have bundles make sure that you have them that are relevant throughout the year and you don't have any holes the other way that you can get people to purchase more bundles is to actually like actively market your bundles so make sure that you're using whatever platforms are at your disposal email list social media like blogs youtube whatever you've got to help market your bundles so talk about your bundles talk about how to use your bundles talk about why people need your bundles talk about all those things so that people are more likely to purchase anytime that i link to a product that is in a bundle i usually link to the whole bundle so like for example i had my springtime color by note okay so it was like coloring sheets but you color by the patterns 
cool with me um instead of just sending people to one of them because i think there were four or five i would send them to the bundle of all of them and then they can still purchase just one if they only need one but they could purchase the whole thing if they need the whole thing and because i'm sending them to the whole thing they're more likely to do that than going to the one product and then clicking through so use your marketing platforms in order to get people to buy bundles one more way that you can get people to purchase more bundles like they do during back to school time is that you can be strategic with your bundles so what i mean by this is in your bundles a you know higher level strategy situation is to have a freebie that goes into your bundles so for example i have some write the room activities where you like post things around the room the kids like you know write their answers on a recording sheet and so in my first set of them i had one of them that was free that way i one i'm more likely to talk about it because i'm like hey you can go get this for free and i don't feel as bad because i'm asking people to pay for it um and then two people are more likely to download it because it's free and then once they use it they're like oh hey i really liked that and then they can see that like oh that's part of a bundle of other resources i can put like a little ad kind of thing in my actual product that links to my bundle so it's like hey if you like this one then you might want to get like all of them so you can use it with all your kids or whatever it is so that you can promote your bundle you can also do this with an email list like send the first one for free and then in a couple days you can send an email about your bundle and get people to purchase that through your email marketing situation so that's a couple of ways that you can get people to purchase more bundles throughout the year like they do at back to school time the second thing people are doing during back to school is they're purchasing more back to school type things so they're going to purchase things that are relevant to back to school and there's a large amount of people searching for back to school things that's going to be things like classroom decor that's mean things like classroom management activities first day of school things um getting to know you activities all of those kind of things people are more likely to purchase at the beginning of the year right so if you want to keep up your back to school momentum throughout the rest of the year you want to look at how you can have relevant products throughout the rest of the year so specifically seasonal products after back to school we have let's see we've got hispanic heritage month and then we have halloween and we have oh labor days in there do people buy things for labor day i don't have any labor day stuff so i don't know we have fall we have thanksgiving we have december with all the winter and all the holidays and it goes on and on and on those are all things you can create products for so that people will want to buy them because the thing about seeing little products is even though they all don't sell all year they sell they tend to sell pretty well during the actual season and the other thing is that seasonal products have like a ticking time bomb so it kind of forces people to make a decision about purchasing your product what do i mean by that is if you have a halloween product okay they have until october 31st to buy that product after october 31st they're not going to buy it but that makes it have a deadline that they have to make a decision by then so as opposed to an evergreen product that's just good any time of the year they could buy it they could not buy it they can leave it in their cart for like three months before they decide if it's a seasonal product they need to purchase it now so they can use it now in the season okay so it gives them a deadline it kind of like gives them a nice amount of stress to convince them to purchase and it's you know teachers like seasonal products especially elementary teachers but all teachers we just we like seasonal things because they're fun and they're cute and they're a way to keep things interesting so if you're looking for how to keep up that back to school momentum make sure that you're taking advantage of seasonal products seasonal i i will preach seasonal products all day long they're annoying because they only sell for a little bit but they makes such a huge difference and again if you're looking at your year and you're like huh this month is really low what you want to do is find a seasonal product that goes with that season and make it and that will that will solve your problem um seasonal products are y'all it, it's a whole thing it's a whole thing i have whole videos about seasonal products i'll link those down below but if you want to keep up that back to school momentum back to school is a season and you gotta keep up with the seasons all throughout in order to make sure that that's gonna happen. And the last way that we can make sure that we are keeping up with the back to school season and keeping that momentum all year long is that during back to school, there's a lot of people on Teachers Pay Teachers because there's a lot of people searching on Teachers Pay Teachers. And that is something that is not happening all year long, okay? 
there's a lot more people on teachers pay teachers during back to school because it is back to school so if you want to keep up that momentum all year long what you want to do is you need to make sure that you are driving traffic to your store so instead of waiting around for people to find you you go out and find people and direct them to your store that's going to be through marketing so that can be through social media that can be through um, paid ads that can be through pinterest that can be through my personal favorite shocker i know i'm talking about it again and that is content marketing content marketing is using a blog or a youtube channel or a podcast in order to create an audience and send traffic to your resources content marketing is amazing because you get to help people and you get to promote your resources and people know who you are they look for your stuff and they get you can get an audience of people you can talk to and send to your store so anytime that i notice that my store is maybe you know needing a little boost i send an email to my email list which is all through content marketing is how i got that email list and I, you know, boost myself that way. Or I make a new YouTube video where I'm talking about some products and then I'm directing people to my products. But I don't sit around waiting for TBT to send people my way. I actively find people and send them myself. This is gonna help kind of offset because again, during back to school season, there's a lot of people who are just on TBT. During the rest of the year, there's not quite as many. So if you can find people and send them to Teachers Pay Teachers, then you're gonna help offset some of the traffic disparities and that's gonna help keep your traffic high and keep more people looking at your products, more eyeballs on your products, and that's gonna help keep that back to school season happening all year long. Now, like I mentioned, back to school is a little bit of a unicorn, so we're not maybe going to keep it up the whole year long, but these three things, having your bundles, having your seasonal products, and sending traffic to your store are three ways that you can really make sure that you're keeping up the momentum all year long. So if you're looking for like what you need to work on in your store, those might be good places to start. I hope this video was helpful. It was kind of, you know, short and sweet and to the point, but you know, that's where we are. If you have any more suggestions for how you can keep the back to school season happening all year long, let me know down below in the comments or send me a message over on Instagram. It's at becca.e.davis. And that's the best way to reach me if you ever have a question and I'm happy to answer whatever questions you have. And if I don't have a question, then I'll be like, I don't know, but there we go. Um, so thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.